What I was hoping is that each group would get to look at at least two of the different types of math things, of types of single strings. The equations and inequalities or the inequalities and expressions or at least two of them. If you only got to one, that's okay. But I'm hoping we got to at least two. And what I want to do now, there are two more things that we're going to do. Okay? We're going to see, did we all come up with the same subcategories? No. So what I'm interested in is what different people saw as important here. So you can put pencils down, you can put cards down. You guys are doing really, really well. So um, how many groups, how many groups actually looked at equations and came up with differences among different types of equations? How, how many groups looked at the equations and wrote something down for what makes some equations different than others? All right, so I want to start over here, and I want you guys to tell us um, something, and I can pull them out or you can pull them out, something about how some equations are different than others. So, Maria, you want to come up and, and separate some? Shh. Well, we believe that this one, um, this one, and 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 like, like this one has the commutative associative and then the distributive property. Does everybody know what she means when they, she says they have a property in it? Yes. Can somebody tell me what she means by they have a property in it, Bron? Like, the property of commutative, like, commutative means it, it don't matter which way it goes. It's like multiplication. If you go forward or backwards, it'll be the same. <laughs> so can you give me an example of the commutative property that uses numbers? Just tell me and I'll write it. Um, five times three equal three times five. People agree that this is commutative? Yes. yes. To me, it doesn't look like this. Yes, it does. X plus Y is equal to Y plus mm -mm. X. Five plus three plus three plus five. Five plus what? three plus five. Is that different than what Ron said? Yes. Yeah. So, what are these both commutative? Yeah. What's the difference? No. Oh. Angela? Excuse me. So, there are different, there's the commutative property of multiplication and the commutative property of addition. Which one is this? Oh, commutative property of addition. Good. Now, you said 5 and 3, and you said 5 and 3. Could I use different numbers? Yes. Yeah. Like, how many different Four, numbers? Three. I could use. You could use three different numbers? I could use. Like, instead of 5 plus 3, you could do. 7 plus 5 plus 3? Okay, okay, but if I keep it in this pattern, oh. a number plus another and then reverse it, what's another example of the commutative property? 7 plus 2 equals 2 plus 7. Good. Can everybody come up with their own? Yeah. Is there, are there enough examples that everybody could come up with one? Yeah. How many examples are there? Infinite Millions. There are, ton, there are many, many. So, in a sense, this represents all of them. But and I think what we can say is that this is always true of... The numbers of two numbers, x and y. We can switch them, right? Mm -hmm. So this is always true. It represents something that's always true. And this is another property represented. What property? Distributive. Associative. And this? Distributive. OK, so you're saying the properties. Can I call this the properties? Go. Property equations? Yeah. Always true equations? What should I call it? Property, property equations. Property equations. They represent Wait, property. That have properties. Okay. okay. So that's one type of equation. 